What's happening, fam? LAR movement still moving. Book is entitled Lessons from a Non Custodial Father at Amazon Kindle Create Space. Link will be in the description box below, as usual. This video is entitled Dating Lessons from Taking L's. Um. Lesson number one, you can't make somebody love you. They're going to have to make a choice to love you on their own. You can't buy, you, you can't buy it, you can't um, will it to be, you can't continue to show your worth or prove, you, you can't prove yourself to a person enough to make them love you back they gotta be they're gonna do it or they're not you know people say they're they're scared and they get they've been hurt before at some point they're gonna have to do something you're gonna have to shit or get off the pot right that's a choice that you can't make and you come to find out that when they actually love somebody they won't resist showing it. it won't be a it won't be a difficult task even if they have insecurities and hang-ups they'll push through it so if they do that and they will do it for other people so if they do that for other people they should be able to do it for you and if they won't do it, if they don't do it for you it's not because they can't it's because they won't um lesson number two you can't upgrade somebody They're going to think they're special. More special than you who upgraded them. And the crazy part about it is they'll forget where they were at before you upgraded them and live in where they're at now that you've upgraded them. You know, are people appreciative? There's some people, but is that the norm? No. Don't think if you upgrade somebody, they're going to always be loyal to you because you did it. People don't have that type of moral compass nowadays. You know, they just, they might use you as a stepping stone. They figure like you brought them to, a, to one level and now you can get them higher. You know, you, you're the stepping stone to go higher up. Which never really works out well because life doesn't work that way. But the lesson is... Don't waste your time doing it, you know, um, because if they, if they, if their intentions are that you need to upgrade them in the first place, that means they're not trying to upgrade themselves. So, you mean you got to meet somebody with drive and ambition? It is what it is. Um, lesson number three. If you if you aren't if you're not good enough for them, you'll never be good enough for them. Don't um, think that somewhere somewhere along the lines a person tell you you know, oh well you know you're not making enough money, but if you make this amount of money, you know we'd be cool. Oh you cute, but if you did this and to look better, then I would like you. Oh you know. You're popular, but if you got this many amount of followers, then he, uh, I would I would be checking for you. It's all game because no matter how high you reach, and it's cool that you use somebody's negativity to be positive for you. But remember, like they're just gonna move the goalposts because. Even when you get to a certain level, even if you if you meet all of their superficial requirements, they still won't be into you. They'll be into what you achieved. And nine times out of ten, they didn't achieve any of the things that they put out for you to achieve to talk to them. So by the time you make these things possible, they're beneath you. I just... I, I, there's no easy way to say that. So, realize 
bro and even if if y'all get together they're gonna always tell you you can always be better that's gonna be the game right there i just well mm -hmm. so what you made a million you didn't make two how many you made how many millions you made well that's not the point yes that is the point you know you know when i first met you you, were, you wasn't fine but you fine now but you could be fine well how you look right now yeah, mm -hmm. put down that damn peanut butter and jelly sandwich and that damn popcorn, you know, and Pop-Tarts you got on the counter and get in that gym. That type of stuff, right? Um, another lesson. The grass is not greener. Just because you... Or missing something in a relationship and somebody else can provide it doesn't mean they're gonna provide you with all of the things that you like about your relationship you know that 80 20 rule <laughs> say you want somebody who's consistent who's loyal who's devoted who's down but you want somebody that's fun too maybe they're not fun and maybe you yearning for fun so you find somebody that's fun but they're not loyal they're not consistent they're not devoted they're not down see what good is the how much fun are you gonna be able to have with somebody who's not loyal, consistent, devoted, and down? Cause you're gonna get mad at them about all the things that they did to cause drama in a relationship. And guess what? The fun is gonna be like a quick escape to a miserable life, but a consistent good life could actually, you know, okay, it's not as fun as usual, but hey, I'm eating, I'm sleeping, I'm enjoying my life. Everything, you know, everything's not entertaining, but you know, you you can't win, you can't win it all. You know, maybe fun, fun will come here and there, but it won't be a, you know, it won't be a daily, weekly event. It is what it is. And that grass ain't always as green. You know, the person you want to be with in public might not be the person you want to be with in private. And the person that you didn't want to be with in public might be the person that you miss when you buy your damn self in private. Just saying. Um, this is another lesson. They got to date you back. You see, if somebody is, is, is getting to know you... It, or if you getting to know somebody, they gotta get to know you back. If they don't want to, if they don't, if they don't make an effort to get to know you back, they're wasting your damn time. Th that's just what it is. They might want to get to know y your entertainment value, but are they down to get to know you? You know, straight up. Another lesson. If they don't have enough, if they don't respect your time or have manners when they are in your presence or when it concerns you, don't mess with them. They can't answer the phone, they don't call no more. They can't respond to your text, don't text no more. Um, if if they can be rude to you and then ne and not apologize, ain't no reason to talk to them. They got a selective memory, selective hearing, selective uh, outrage. Make some, make another selection in the person you talk to because that's not going to change. Um, I ain't gonna stay on too 
on this one too long, but how about this? The last lesson would be love yourself enough to make a person know they have to love you in a, in a certain way. Like, they, anybody's going to only love you the way you love yourself. If you treat yourself great, they're going to know, well, I got to treat them great. If you treat yourself bad, they're going to know, well, I could treat this person bad. You know what I'm saying? You have to set the tone. And the way to set the tone is by how you treat you. You know? Sometimes self-love is a deterrent for people who aren't who shouldn't be in your presence and sometimes you know treating yourself bad is an opportunity for other people who are who want to take advantage of that because you're broken so that's another lesson you gotta I think you should just put in the bag um I'll stop I might do a part two I don't know yeah